I will make sure that America, not China, wins the competition for the 21st century. Two candidates with two different approaches toward Beijing. To me, the most beautiful word in the dictionary is tariff. Caught in the middle is Taiwan, which relies on the US for security guarantees, but has deep economic and cultural ties to mainland China. Who's next in the White House matters to key chip companies on the island, facing uncertainty over industry support in the states, while Beijing pushes to level the tech playing field. The entire ecosystem in semiconductor has to face actually stronger competition from China. At the same time, uh, with the United States, it's not really clear how much uh, of the subsidies will be coming to Taiwanese manufacturers. So net-net for Taiwan, uh, it's a loss. Pressure on Taiwanese chip firms to offshore at least some production is unlikely to abate, even if UBS is among those who see essential operations staying put. Retaining crucial semi-production on the island carries a risk, as worries swirl that tensions between Beijing and Taipei could spiral into military conflict. Still, Taiwan's government and big business alike say they're ready to work with either new US leader.